Okay, so here's a sad thing, boys and girls. We're about to take we're about to take a serious step. Okay, we, we must we must think before we do this. Okay, it's like okay when we step beyond this point, you will no longer be able to say, "Well, I'm not a rocket scientist," but right? Because technically speaking, you will be rocket scientists when we cross this point, right? Okay, so. You'll have to say something lame like, you know, I'm not a neurosurgeon or something like that, right? I'm not a, right? Okay. You could say I'm not much of a rocket scientist. I don't know much rocket science, but you can't, strictly speaking, say that you're not a rocket scientist, which is, I guess, sort of a sad thing, right? You can still say, though, um, it's not rocket surgery, right? But it's not exactly rocket surgery, right? Try that. That one's a fun one. My, my daughter brought that one home. I thought that was funny. Not exactly brain science. That one doesn't work as well. It's not. I don't know. I have to think about it. There we go. Okay. Here's the deal. We've got this blah 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 blah. This is as if we had it learned it last yesterday, right? Okay. Here's the deal with a rocket. Okay. With a rocket engine. <laughs> Okay. With a rocket engine, the rocket engine is going to exert a force times a certain amount of time, okay? And the, the way it does that is that it takes a certain mass of fuel, it takes a certain mass of fuel, and it pushes that fuel down that way. So this becomes, this mass is the fuel burned, that V is the velocity of the fuel, right? So F is the engine thrust, T is the time that it burns, and they talk that way. When they talk like in Apollo 13, they talked about a burn, and they talked about the burn time right, for the engines, right? And then M is the mass of fuel burn. Delta V is the exhaust gas velocity, yeah? Delta V is the exhaust gas velocity that uh, you give the rocket, okay? And the way it works, because people don't, deeply don't understand this, right, is, is, I mean, if you think about an airplane, right, an airplane has a propeller, and the propeller is like a screw. It moves through the air. And the propeller pushes the air back, and that pushes the plane forward. That's the equal and opposite reaction. Okay? You can swim through the air, but rockets work in space. If I take a rocket way out into space and there's no gravity and there's no air, there's a vacuum out there, I can turn the rocket on and it's going to push me. So how does that work? What's it pushing off of? What is a rocket pushing off of? I will demonstrate. Okay. It's pushing off. Somebody said it. Not pushing off the Earth, because let's say it's far, far away from the Earth. Pushing off gravity. Let's suppose it's far away from the gravitational field. The fuel. Somebody said fuel. It, it is pushing off the fuel. It takes fuel with it. This is fuel. Now, imagine. Maybe they are. Maybe it's the banjo music. They're, they're clapping later. Right? Okay. Now, let's suppose that these are molecules of fuel. Okay. What you do, let's suppose I'm sitting on, a, on an air track cart, just like those ones. Imagine a one big enough for me to sit on. Are you picturing this? Yes. I want one of these. Do you want one of those? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm sitting on this thing. If I take this and I throw that out in the hall, right? Ooh, look at that. Okay, I throw that. Aren't I going to recoil from that throwing? Won't I be moving backwards like this? And if I throw another one... I threw it kind of low. If I throw another one, it was a soft ball, okay? If I throw another one, and so now I'm coasting back faster. Every time I throw a missile out there, right, I'm moving back, I'm recoiling from that, aren't I? Yes, aren't I? And I can do that in space. If I'm a spaceman floating in space and I throw those things that way, right, they're going to fly that way. Every time I throw them that way, don't I go back this way? It's like if I had a handgun, and I went bam, 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 and that'd be like worse, worse outcome there, right? Okay, and I do that every time I do it. If I'm on a frictionless surface, I'm going to recoil the other way, correct? That's how rocket engines work. Of course, they're not shooting like you know bullets or or little bouncy rubber ball. Here, toss that guy over. Okay, okay. Um, we're not doing that. 
obviously what I'm doing is, is they're, they're shooting molecules that way. They're shooting them at like 2,000 meters per second or something like some incredible exhaust gas velocity like that. But it works the same way. Now, let's think of this because this is something that, that people always, they always, where'd the other one go? There's another one somewhere. I don't know. Might be in the hall. Might not come. Oh, there it is. I'm missing my apple. Okay. Um, here's another thing to think about. Think about this. Does it matter, once it leaves my hand, once I've pushed it like that, does it matter what it hits? If it hits that wall, does that give me an extra boost? <laughs> no, it doesn't. There's no physical way. It's actually, if you notice, one of them actually came back and hit me, which is sort of <laughs> funny, right? So if it actually could bounce off the wall and hit me again, then, then it would give me an extra boost, right? But it doesn't matter what's there. It doesn't matter whether Laura's trying to get back in the classroom, <laughs> right? It doesn't matter whether those biology kids are walking by or something like that. It doesn't matter whether I'm throwing this off the cliff into the Great Rift Valley in Africa, just like in the gods must be crazy, okay? It doesn't matter what happens to it after it leaves my hand, it gives me the same push, right? So think about that, because a lot of people say, well, rockets push off the ground, and we'll, we've got a demonstration about this. I don't know if we'll get to it today. Um, but they don't push off the ground, they just push off their fuel. The only way they could push off the ground, sort of, is if the rocket fuel bounced off the ground and then hit the rocket again. But in, on a NASA rocket, they, they try to keep the rocket gases from hitting the rocket again, because that's a problem, because rockets are full of like explosive stuff, right? This is a drawback, right? So here is, here is our demonstration, okay? Yeah, so the question is, which one is the better accelerator? Well, you know, we can set this guy up. We can shut this one up. Now, I, I, meant, to get, I meant to get an F-15 in here. Right, and put it in the parking lot. We'd have to like clear the parking lot of student cars. Uh, but I think that would have been a good demonstration. Show an F-15 with full afterburners sitting in the school parking lot. We measure the force of it. Okay, this is going to stand in for the F-15. I hope you guys aren't too disappointed. You're not, are you? Yeah, this is nearly as good as an F-15, isn't it? Okay. Does an F-15 have afterburners? Oh, this, this has afterburners. I'm about to turn them on, okay? So if I turn this guy on... There it goes. Look at it go. It's like... That's about... That's about... Um, right there, that's like, I don't know, two newtons of thrust here, okay? Uh, Connor, chill. Reach in the, um, the cupboard behind you. If you open up that cupboard, you'll find somewhere in there a box labeled 2.5 newton scales, okay? Let's pull one of those guys out of there. Pull a 2.5 Newton scale out of there. Is he finding it? He'll find it. I have confidence in him. You find it? I think we should measure this force, don't you think? Yeah. I think we should measure that force. Oh, we got two and a half Newtons there. All right. Okay, so here is our, here's our mighty jet engine. Okay, let's make, a, uh, let's make a little loop here. Let's attach this guy like that. What can I attach it to over here? How about, uh, how about this natural gas spigot? Does that seem like a good idea? Yeah, definitely that's a good idea. Okay. All right, can we see that? Can you see that dial there? Yeah. Maybe not so much. Hold on. I can actually hold this thing down, this, this savage thing. I can actually hold it down with tape. Can you believe that, that the power of this thing can actually be held at bay with tape? Okay, let's turn this on. Let's see if we get a... Look at that. You see that? Can you see the fourth scale? And of course it goes almost back to zero. There's some friction here. Oh, it's not even reading zero. Okay. Here. There we go. Let's try it again. So it's reading it's reading a whopping 1.4 newtons of thrust, huh? Isn't that amazing? We turn it off, it goes almost to zero, but there is some friction, right? Okay. Now, 
what I'm going to do, and what I really will do, okay, is I really will 